Hi and welcome. This is just a training flight, but I will explain what I'm doing and you're welcome to follow along. I'm going to bring up the weapons and you can see what I'm going to put on. I'm going to put on a lightning pod. I'm going to put on some air to ground missiles, the MPP APK WS. On the other side, I'm going to throw on a Maverick AGM 65E. And then I'm just going to throw on a couple of GPU 12s, just singles on the left and the right. And we'll click OK. Actually, we could change the default livery. We can change the number to something else. So while it's doing that, we'll jump in the cockpit. I'm just going to turn up a little bit of lighting. And over here, I'm going to change this. So I'm going to click here and then bring up the EHSD. If I zoom in, you'll notice it has the word map here. I'm going to left click once and then in the top right has the word map. Left click that once and it brings me back to here. That will do for the moment. Left click again here. And left click again. Now I'm going to go to the stores page and just have a little look up here. It looks like it's loaded. So we've got the GBU 12s, we've got the rockets, the 20As, and we've got the Maverick, the LMAV. And if we have a look at our plane, we've got the rockets, we've got the GBU, we've got the Maverick, and we've got the GBU 12. So that's all loaded and we're ready to go there. We can get ourselves ready for takeoff. Let's see what else we can set up while we're still on the ground. We'll bring up our teapod. I'm putting it to standby. Now we want to set the number. So the INS at the moment is 111. We want to set this. Let's go through my controls. On my joystick, I have all this set up. So we're looking at the currently in use TDC forward. TDC aft, TDC left, and TDC right. Then I have set up sensor select down, and sensor select aft. I also have set up nozzle rotation up, nozzle rotation down, and the master warning caution reset button. Then I also have set up the bomb pickle, release bombs, launch rockets, mavericks button. I've got my trim set up, trim pitch down, up, left, and right. Now for the maverick, this is the important button, the cage uncage button. We want to make sure we've got a cage uncage button set. And I've also got my AG target and designate NWS FOV toggle. I've got that set up on my joystick. So that's all the buttons I've got on my joystick. Just on my throttle, I have this set up. I have parking brake off and parking brake on. That's the only buttons I've got set on my throttle. So that's all you need to use all these weapons. The rest we can actually click on. So what we're going to actually push now is this button. We're going to be pushing Sensor select aft. I'm going to push that once and it'll bring me to this page. Now up here we've got a code. We want to put in 1688. So I'm just going to hit clear. And then 1688 and then click enter. If it doesn't work for you, just click clear and then enter the number again 1688 and then hit enter. Now we'll go back down to here. And then we'll click up here for teapod. And you'll notice in teapod under next to the word TV, it's got 1688. So we're going to click on standby. And then I'm going to click up here where it says safe. Left click once. And then up here where it says TRNL, I'm going to push the button next to that until it says laser. I only have to click it once. So 
we're a whole heap better set up now. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to get rid of these GBU12s first. So I'm going to left click once here. And then I'm going to look down here and it says fusing. It says safe. Well, nothing's going to happen if it is in safe mode. Now we can put on the master arm and we click on air to ground, but it still ain't going to drop because we've got it on safe. So we need to left click on this. So now it's on tail and instant. So now that's all set up. The rest of it, well, you can have a look, but it's set on auto, fuse on tin, quantity 1-1. One, one. So that's all that. Um, the other thing we can set up is if we click over here in the bottom middle and we can go to the EHSD, what we're going to do is just next to this word DESG, we're going to click on that in a few moments. But we'll wait until we get up in the sky. We want to find a target first. So let's get ourselves going and up into the sky. So we're going to use the parking brake off button. We click that once. And the plane will start moving. You can use the nozzles as you need to get your plane up into the sky. And use your rudder pedals to keep yourself straight. I just need to give it a bit more throttle right now. We're 180, that will do. We can pull back. And the gear is in. And then get rid of the master warning. And just trim it a little bit so that we're not going crazy. And we'll head over towards north, just for a little moment. And we're just flying north for a few moments. So, we're here. We're going to take a left turn around and then we're going to come back towards all these targets here. Now your autopilot buttons are down here. You can turn them on as needed. But we need to get some altitude at the moment. Because we're way too low for GBU-12s. I'll bring the throttle back a touch but we also need to be climbing. About 7,000 will do. There we go. Just coming up to 7,000 now. We had a little look at our map, we're up here. So we'll spin around. On this first pass, we don't necessarily need to bomb anything, but we need to select our target and set our plane up. So we're going to head towards 180. Now what we need to do is we want to make this so it's selectable. So on the joystick, we're going to be pushing this button. Sensor select down. Sensor select down. And if we have a look over at our teapot, we can see down here it says TV Des. If we push that button twice, sensor select down once and then twice, we'll know it will, it will change. Let's change it again so that we've got it selected, T-Pod. Well, it won't change at the moment, but we're going to change what's down here. So down here I've got DESG, left click that once, so it has steer point. And then use the nose wheel steering button until it says TGT. I'm going to go over to here. Now I'm going to use that button twice and it should say T-Pod Des. So the three things I did then was I clicked over here on DESG. It has steer point. Then I went and used the nose wheel steering button 
to change it to target. So the nasal steering button is this. And then I went over to here, I'm watching this information, and I went and pushed this. Sensor select down, HUD scene reject TGP, I pushed that button, sensor select down. So if we go and push that once and then twice, you'll then be able to control it. So if we have a look up here, we can now move this around. We need to put that on our target area. So our targets are over here. Now, because we don't want anything out here, if you need to set this back to bore site, just push the nose wheel steering button and you'll notice it will go back up to here and to bore site. This still here is down here, designate target, so that's fine. And we'll have a little look at where we are. Now this is going left and right looking for a signal, but we haven't targeted anything yet. We've got the GBU12 set. It's on auto mode, very important to mention, but it is on auto mode that we're using. So we'll spin around. We seem to be in the right direction at 27. Let me have a look, there's the targets down there. So let's now use these buttons. So we're going to use on the joystick TDC aft, forward, left, and right. If it's not working for you, just remember, you need to push this twice, sensor select down. So we're going to use that now, and you'll notice it'll come down. And then we're going to bring it across towards our target area. Now we can begin to use our teapot. So we're going to have a look over here on our teapot. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to find a target. I'm going to click here to change it to point track. We've got a point track. And that will do for this pass. So our targets are down there. There's a whole heap of them. Now the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to reacquire this target when we come back past, but we're going to have to click up here on fire button when we fire a laser. So then, this is going to be able to find what it's looking for. Make sure this is on target designate. We don't need that screen anymore. We'll just go back to stores. You can see it's on mode auto. We can see our distance here. 5.7, 5.8, 6. That's our distance. We'll spin it around. And we're following this here. This is telling us the direction we need to head, so we need to head that way. As it comes around, we know it's going to get close. Here we go, we're in line and we've got a bottom full line. But we need to find our target first. So we'll go over here. We'll zoom in again. We'll click on fire. We've got a point track. So now what we need to do fly our plane relatively level, keep an eye on our altitude, so we want to keep gaining our altitude because we're only 5,000. 
And we're looking up here for a white line to appear. When a white line appears, we're going to hold down the bomb at pickle button. So you can see the white line just appeared. And the button we're going to be pushing is this, the bomb at pickle release bombs button. So as soon as I can, I'm going to hold down that button. We're watching for this line. Now it's just at 5,000 feet. So we'll see if this hits at 5,000. The laser's on. We'll see if it can capture that target. If that had enough altitude for it to do so. Let's find out. Laser's still on. And we hit our target exactly. So there you go. If you're wondering what sort of altitude you need, you can do it from there. We'll do one more. We're just going to go over to here, turn off the fire. Fly away for a little bit. For at the moment. Keep using your trim. If your plane is hard to control, use your trim to try and level it out. Or you can try and use these buttons down here to help you for the autopilot. So you click on these two buttons here. So just hold that altitude and keep you in that level flight. Level it up manually and then click those two buttons. Don't have it crazy up here when you click it. So we're about 10 out now. We can probably line ourselves up for the next one. I'm just going to turn this off. And we'll spin ourselves around. We know we can turn to the right to get the target. So let's do that. Almost there. We're on it. Okay, just level it up. We're at about 10,000, so we don't have to do too much crazy. We'll just turn on this. And we'll go over to this. Find our new frame. I'm going to click on here to zoom in. We've got point track, but you could change it to whatever you wanted. I've just got it on point track at the moment and then click fire. So now I've got a point track straight away. I'm pretty leveled up. We can take off the autopilot though. Just check again that you've got tail nose. So you've got a fuse set. And I'm just looking up here for the white line so I can hold down the bomb fuse button. Here's the white line, holding down the bomb fuse, keep level, wings level and it's off the plane. It's telling us we've got no more GPUs. We can go back to here and just make sure that this is on for us. We've got this looking at that. And we can have a little look. We'll switch to the plane view this time. We'll just follow this almost all the way in. We know that laser is still on, so it looks like it's targeting it. It's looking pretty good. Watch it from here and boom. So that's how we use the GPUs. So now let's switch to some rockets. I'm going to click up here, 20A. Now not much else we need to set up. It's just in CIP or CCIP. And we're doing the same process with this. We're just finding it with the teapot. Just fly a little bit away. We can bring that altitude down now. We don't need such crazy altitude with the rockets. So we've got a distance of 7.7, 7.8, that's enough. Spin ourselves around. We'll fire two rockets at each target. But you can find, you can, especially with targets like this, you only need one rocket. It would be enough. Just bring that throttle back a little bit. Our plane is super light now. Okay, so we're going to go over to here. I'm just going to zoom out. 
We've got a knee framed up here. We've got a point track. We're going to click on fire. Do a little dive and then click on a rocket and then another rocket. Here's our rockets. And we can see it there as well. Let's see how this goes. That's our first one. We'll take it off fire mode and we'll fly away for a little bit. We're not very far at the moment. While we're still able to get a little bit of a view, we'll just zoom out. It's off to our right wing now. Five point eight, five point nine. This will probably be enough. So we'll spin around. Let's have a look what we can find. Point track, fire. And then we'll just get our plane towards the targets, fire. We can fire another one. Let's see how we go. We can see we're not really pointing the plane at the target, but this is laser guarded, so. And we've hit our target. So we've got three rockets left. Just take it off fire mode. Two point seven, two point eight. Around about six, we'll come in again. This time we'll just use one rocket. We'll have a little look down here. We'll find a new target. We found a target. And we will fire. And then we'll put on our laser. And we'll see if it still works because we've given it less time to find that laser this time. And destroyed, we've run rocket, and you can see I even put the laser fire after I fired the rocket. Do we still hit the target? This last one will use just two rockets. And then we'll show you the Maverick. 
We might be able to find another target for the moment. Looks like we've got one. Not very far at the moment. But we don't need a lot of preparation time, so we can turn in again. There we go. We'll just check on our lineup. Got a point track. And we'll fire one rocket, two rockets. Let's see how this goes. And we destroyed the exact target we wanted. So now we're going to move to Mavericks because we're out of rockets. So I'm going to click on LMAV over here. We've got 1688. I'm going to do a similar process. The only difference is I'm going to push an extra button. So I clicked on LMAV. The extra button I'm going to click is this. Cage, uncage. That's all I'm going to click. Cage, uncage. So if I click cage, uncage, it brings up this. Push it again, it goes away. We need it to be looking like that. With a little sensor going left and right, so it's looking for the laser at the moment. Now we've got nothing selected at the moment, and it's definitely not in front of the Maverick. The Maverick's over here, and our targets are behind us, so it's looking in the other direction at the moment. It's looking out that way. So it can't see anything at the moment. But when we turn the plane around and start to come in, um, it will be able to find it. We can also see here the little X going left and right. That's also that that there symbolizing that what it's looking for gives you an idea of that's the direction it's looking at now we'll only find that and lock in and we'll have a little white dot indicating where it's found where that location is but we'll only find that once we click the fire button so at the moment we're about eight out we'll go out towards 10 and then we'll turn around Got towards 10, so we'll spin around. Here we are. So that's the area we want to look at. We'll just level it up and then we'll try and whack on this if we can. Okay, let's go over to here. And we'll zoom out. We'll find our new target. Can be that one. We've got a point track. So now we're just going to look over here, and you'll notice when I click on fire, you might find something. So it's found the target. It's got a little white dot here saying it's found it. So we'll just go up a little bit to give it some height, and then we'll fire. 4.7 is not going to have any problems. Bomb pickle button. Rifle. We can see this off towards the target. We're just going to make sure that we're still firing that laser at this target. Go watch our bomb. With the Maverick. We're following closely behind the Maverick here. And we took that out. Target destroyed. So of what we put on the plane, we have hit a target with everything that we uh, put on the plane. We've used the rockets, we've used the GBU-12s, and we've also used the Maverick.
Okay, we can change this now to off. Take it out and put it into VSTOL mode or put it into landing mode. Change that to stall. This can stay on for what it matters. We can do a bit of a damage check down there. We'll get rid of this warning. And we'll see if we can put the plane in the ground. I've got an airport just down there. neutral see our gears are coming down Trying to show you an external view there, but um, Put the parking brake on. And we're safely on the ground. And what we used in this flight was this. Will it reload it? But we can see we're safely on the ground. I hope you found this video helpful or useful. It was just a training flight, but we have talked you through what I'm doing in deploying these weapons. And it's just reloading those weapons for me now. We can see the lightning pod in the middle. We've got the rockets. We've got the Maverick. And we've got the GBU-12s. And we're just looking at this on the lightning pod. We use this to MPP APKWS and the AGM 65E. And just on the end, we've got the bombs, obviously, the GBU 12s. So we used all of those in this little mission. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.
Altitude. Altitude. 